three shoulder pain relief people i know it's hot out there keep our heads straight for one two with shoulder pain relief, we worry about like i said before earlier i tore my shoulder before that's why one thing that i focus on with my patients is i can empathize with what's going on we've all had some type of problem before too we can dance sometimes too we can't dance a lot of it is can we make sure our body is staying healthy so if it's if it's caused from a shoulder trauma posture or even a chronic post-surgical issue too it takes time to cover your shoulder the problem with the shoulder you don't relax your shoulder our shoulders are always been working unless we're lying down flat with our bodies our hands across your body or something like this where that's the end you're done at that point our body is normally having the shoulder to hold itself up it's always active so it's hard to recover. So when it does recover, sometimes, especially if it's traumatic injury, it'll recover like this. It'll recover like this, done this way. So you have to make sure if we have an injury or a trauma, even post-surgical, we want to make sure we can open our shoulder up, have good position, good posture over time. And as we go through rehab, say post-surgical, our body relearns this position, not where we feel comfortable. That's the plan. Because once our shoulder rolls forward, what happens to our shoulder? What happens to our posture? Our posture also rolls forward too. We've got to keep our body back here. So if we're having a shoulder injury, it doesn't want to become a frozen shoulder here. Tight, clicky, unable to lift your arm versus loose and relaxed and lift your arm overhead. All right, any questions so far? Boom, good. We have to keep them back. And good, position. So sitting position, posture wise. We want our shoulders back where that shoulder is in line with your ear anatomically. When our shoulders are back, our ear lines up with the seam of our middle of our shoulder, of our, if, you have, if you have a uh, shirt with a seam on, that one all the way down there, so we roll our shoulders back in that position. We have that position, then our body can stay straight up and down, sitting or standing. The problem is the weight of our head, our skull, is not even. Our skull, most of the weight is where? In the back of the front of the skull. What's, what's worth more of the weight? Where is it? Where's the weight in more? In the front. In the, in the front. front. In the front. Our teeth and facial bones. More of the weight right here. So it pulls out. If we're sitting and we're relaxed, uh, we're here. We have to be constant. Okay, I want my body back here. Once you stay here long enough, it becomes your own position. Posture. What happens when, you go, when our head goes forward? Our shoulders roll forward also. That keep everything back, roll backwards over time versus being rolled forward. So, standing up against the wall, for example, here, on this one, standing against the wall, as I test my patients too, I want them to feel their heels, hips, shoulder, and head against the wall, so you know where their whole body should line up. So that helps them figure out where the shoulder should be. I saw them come yesterday, bad scoliosis, bad shoulder injury, they stood like this. This is their normal posture. So when against the wall, they did this. When against the wall, trying to correct their posture, like, it doesn't feel good. This feels weird. Because if they're normal, their normal is here. They're stuck here. So get them to go to a better standard normal. It feels uncomfortable, weird. Good. Let's make their body here so that pain goes away in the shoulder and the body feels loose and then strong. Questions about that? Who's that remind you? That's my job. I call them every day. I send them what I do to my patients. I send them videos, how to stretch, how to strength. And when I see them, hey, how's that thing going? They have, and again, good question. How who reminds them? It's doing it routinely, consistently, no matter how you're doing. That point, within three weeks, four weeks, becomes your habit. So you realize this is normal for you now. This feels weird over time. Make sense? If you do something long enough, three, four weeks, our brain will reset where we want our body to be. My job as a chiropractor is move your bones so your body can reset and give you guidance, make the ligaments and muscles stretch to get there over time. And you maintain it. If you want to, I'll call you every day if you want. Okay. Give, everybody, give everybody my number, no one calls me. Yes? Um, my neck cracks. That's hmm? for a seated head? No. <laughs> There's pressure somewhere. That's what chiropractors do. But if it, if it well, releases... Yeah, I had a shoulder. shoulder. For a long time, I carried it in. And I got ready to go puncture from bones. When that's what happens is the shoulder, what does the shoulder connect to? The neck. At that point, it affects everything. That muscle, the upper trap muscle attaches at the base of the skull, AC joint, point of the shoulder, 
and somewhere back here through T3, T4, at that point, that triangle muscle, the upper traps, makes everything tighten up that it connects to. So it can cause a neck problem or a shoulder problem or vice versa. Huh? Ah, what do we do? Okay. Is a, is a pain acute or chronic? What does that mean? Acute is I fell yesterday, hit my shoulder, it's swollen, it's tender, it's hard to move. Okay. I go, let's see if we can calm that thing down. How do we calm that acute shoulder pain? Ice. A little bit of stretching, but ice is more is better than heat. If something's swollen, it's inflamed, correct? Is inflamed by definition heat or is it cold? Inflammation. Uh, heat. heat. Ice. We have to use ice. We use ice to calm down inflammation, yeah. but inflammation swelling is already heat, is already swollen, is already warm blood in the area. So we want to calm it down, push that blood out, that will get new blood in the area to help it heal faster. That's the problem. We need new fluid because new blood has what? Minerals and vitamins help tissue heal faster. It needs those mineral vitamins to help the tissue heal faster. So if we can get that inflammation down fast enough, at that point it won't cause a frozen shoulder. It won't cause a chronic problem. Problem is you call your doctor and go, I fell my shoulder, what can I get in? I'll see you in three weeks. <laughs> three weeks, two months. Two months, I'm, I'm, I'm being optimistic. Yeah. Three weeks maybe. Okay. I went yesterday and he said, well, what's wrong? I go, well, after two months I can't remember. <laughs> the problem was, but I'll tell you, what, you know, so how are you feeling? Great. Today. I feel good. You cured me, Doc. Let me give you a list of all my things. I had someone call uh, today. They said about about three to four weeks minimum for a bad injury. Yeah. So then, what they do? Well, if it's that bad, they tell you to go where? Emergency. Emergency. Hello. Yeah. Hours and hours. Urgent care. Yeah. People die there. It's you almost know, it's almost a past accountability to somebody else versus taking doing their job. That's what I think, that what do I do? I see 80 people a day, my office, I'll see, if you need to come in, I'll see you tomorrow. Latest tomorrow. You know, it, it's having that, when I, when I talk to students about it, it's that, that ability to show that you care about your patients. My doctor cares, but you know, it's only 15 minutes at the most, so I just take a list and check what you do. When you're on the clock, that doesn't mean that, that is it genuine? You know what I mean? You're like, okay, you have 15 minutes, go. No. <laughs> well, no. What can they do? I mean, this is Kaiser. I mean, they're... This is, this is the, the insurance company telling the doctor what to do versus the doctor That's being right. taking care of their patients. So, but hey. It's not the doctor's fault, though. It isn't, but that, I wouldn't work for something like that. It's okay, I'm a chiropractor. It's not only can I golf once a week, I can also take care of my patients. I want to take care of my patients. I want to spend half an hour with them, good. Spend an hour with them, good. But it depends on what they need. How do I know every patient can only take 15 minutes? Yeah, I don't know that. Really no one knows that. But we want to make sure we take care of our people no matter what so that we can avoid a chronic shoulder problem versus a versus get taking care of when it's still acute. But if someone comes in, they go, for example, I'll see you in three weeks or two months, at that point by then, yeah, the pain may go away, but now they're stuck. Now they can't move. Now it's frozen where all the ligaments muscle down made this is normal and affecting their neck and upper back too. And they're grouchy. They're tired. Time to move. It hurts. Yeah. Well, that you have other problems. That's that's I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, well, I had the, my bones. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess. Huh? Big bones sticking out here. I don't like that. It got well, but it didn't wasn't fixed. That's the issue. And again, right now at this point, okay, how do we increase range of motion? Cause more motion, give you more flexibility and more strength. But maybe one hundred percent. That's fine. When my, I tore my shoulder, I still have a gap right here because the muscle's never reattached. But I can still lift weights, still do everything I want to do. It just got to make sure I do my stretching too. Yeah, I know that's true. I agree, I am the bones of So the goal is now how do we continue stretching to make sure that maintains your range of motion doesn't get worse. And then strengthen when you can. It just works, all it is work. When during COVID, as you guys told you guys 20 times already, I had two weights at home. That during COVID, all the gyms were closed, right? The wide table was closed, it was all closed down. I had my wife's five pound pink weights. That's all I had. That's not enough for me. I could do like, okay, 80 of them, 90, 20. Yeah. So at that point, I didn't, I didn't, so as, because I didn't have enough stress on my body, the exercise, my shoulder got tighter and tighter yeah. and tighter. Once the gym's open, once the YMCA opened up again, first three weeks, I'm like, oh, this feels so not so good. Oh, this hurts, hurts, hurts. I had to get through that, that so-called tearing 
to make my, my shoulder better. But knowing what to do and when to do it is the key. Green light to when to stretch, when it's, when it's not painful, but also when it's chronic, then you have to stretch, even through the pain. All right, so we'll look at the stretches too. That's the easy part for one, two. Shoulder assessment motion, okay? How do we, what is the normal position of the shoulder? Is it this? Uh, I just said, uh, so no, it's not. It's open, but also enough range of motion in the shoulder where your hand stays here or here, not here. Does that make sense? If my hand's turned in, turned in toward my body, and I'm also, my, 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 you're, you're looking, if you're in front of me, you're looking at the back of my hand, at that point, that means my shoulder, all my muscles in my arm and shoulder are turned in. Huh? Oh, secret. Don't tell anyone, secret. Okay? This is how I know someone has a shoulder problem or a bad posture, or not the bad posture, poor posture, because the shoulders are like this. So, yeah, you, you thought until I told you different. I know what I'm doing. I have two letters up and big student loan to pay off eventually when I die. Okay? So we want to have our hands open here, ideally versus here. You may not even feel pain here. The problem is once you lift your arm up, it hurts. Lift your arm up here, it hurts. You bring your arm out here, it hurts. So range of motion, shoulder, you want to be able to get that hand, because it's connected to the shoulder, that hand will be your guide to get 180 degrees all the way up. Much as we can, that's the ideal. Okay, again, perfect. We want to test the other side too. Are both sides even? When you bring one up, it might be okay because the back, because your shoulder are connected back here and back here. When you bring another one up, it may actually lower, limit your range of motion so you feel like you guess you're stuck here. One might be okay. The second one comes up, then you kind of you kind of limit your motion the other one. So watch how it goes. So here, bring my right hand up. Left arm comes up, feels pretty good. I bring my, bring my arms down, bring my left arm up, right arm up to the left side, it's tight, it goes eh, a little bit tighter than normal. We're all gonna be off a little bit, not be evenly all the time. My wife says I'm off up here a lot, but that just, that's a normal thing, all right? So you wanna make sure we test, arm comes up, good. One arm, other arm comes up, good. Feels evenly good. Then bring them both down, switch hands. First arm comes up, other arm comes up, other arm comes up too, at that point, feels good, okay, we're okay. Okay, now what we wanna do is bring your left arm, start your sides again, at your rest, rest position, left arm up to your side, okay? How does that feel? Does that feel okay? Now from there, just parallel to your body, just parallel. Now from there, bring it up over your head with your palm facing out. So just like that, palm facing out the whole time, Try to bring your arm, your upper arm, to your ear without bending your ear. Don't cheat. No cheating. All right? So if that's minimal, we want to make sure over time, we now we have something to work with. Okay? Now switch sides, same thing. Bring your right hand. Bring your right hand up, just parallel to your body, just parallel. Palm facing down. Now bring your palm, all, bring your upper arm up to your ear again without bending your ear up to your side, let your palm face out away from you. Okay, that should be ideal. That's where you want your arm to go. If these are limited, that means your shoulder muscles are tight. We're gonna figure out which one it is in a second. All right, any questions yet? I do lifting in the water, mm -hmm. and it's fine with it. When we're doing, Wait. this is the first time that I do it in the water going up. I haven't done it with my regular weights at mm -hmm. home. Tired. Well, it's part you gotta get stronger. You have to get yes. At least you know a minute, and then I can continue. But I get tired. It's okay. It's tired equals strength. You're making your shoulders strong. You got a question too? You're raising your hand. No. no. You sure. You raise your hand for something. Just check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. All right. So we want to make sure we're doing enough to, to do that. Who wants to be my volunteer for the strength exercise, strength assessment? So we come over. And what we're gonna do, you're not gonna be looking at my shoes and, and uh, not today. I already saw them. I'm sorry, shoes. It's too late. It's too late. I, I still mangle bothered. <laughs> grab a seat, grab a seat. So now what we're gonna do is test your shoulder strength. So bring your hand out here. Hold, hold, hold. 
Does that feel okay? That feels okay. I'm gonna push your hand down with my two fingers, try to hold it up. Does that cause any pain in the shoulder? No. Good. How about in the neck? No. Good, how about the upper back? No. Good. Now, stay right there for me. Turn your hand over. I'm testing now the strength with the front shoulder. Okay? With the what? When I was here, I was testing where the middle, yeah, your, your shoulder muscles, your delt muscles of your shoulder, go from the very front, anterior, middle, middle, and back posterior. You have three parts of your deltoid muscle. So anterior middle was gonna be with the palm facing down. Anterior will be with the palm facing up. Then hold, and hold your hand right there. Don't let me push it down. Pull, 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 pull. Does that cause any pain? A little discomfort. A little bit. The front sometimes is real tight. That can happen. Now, bring your hand all the way back. Just like that, real simple, real simple. We're gonna test the posterior delt muscle, and then hold, 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 hold. Uh, How does that, that one feel? That, that, Very that, common that. for the back muscles of the shoulder, the posterior delt muscle, to be weaker than yeah. the anterior delt. Why do you think that is? Because we don't use it as much. We don't do a lot of this, coming back more. We do more here, more holding here, more lifting here, right? So you must not get work very much. We have to do certain things, but I'll give you in a few minutes to make those posterior delt muscles strong. No, mine goes like bang, bang. It's, it's crunchy back there. Yeah. We're, we're gonna work on that one too. And we got work to do, we got work to do. Now, bring your arm up, right here, and then hold that right there for me. Don't need to push it down. Feels okay? It feels okay. Good. Same thing, I'm gonna turn your hand over, and then here, feels okay? It feels okay. Good. And then now here, over here. Feels okay? It feels okay. Good, relax. Why do you think it's easier out front than, than out here? Why do you think that is? Because we use it more, I suppose. You're already here all day. You, you've used these muscles all day with your arms in front of you. Now, all these muscles here, your pec minor muscle, pec major, anterior delt teres minor, have all worked to make that stronger no matter what. So if the shoulder is a problem, especially chronic shoulder problem with no injuries, that means the muscles now have gotten too strong in the front, to cause us to hunch forward so the posterior delt muscle is more weak. You gotta get it stronger. All right? Good job, Sylvia. Ooh. Get a lollipop. Good lollipop. I'll <laughs> give lollipop later, later, later. Okay. Now, shoulder stretching. This is my favorite one. I'm doing this on the floor here, but it's meant to be done on the side of the bed or, or I, I use a table in my office. That's what I do in bed, though. I remember that from last time. I remember that from last time. Okay? So if I'm in bed, I'm gonna take a water bottle, just to start, a can of soup. If you have chicken soup, let me know, I'll come by and pick it up, okay? <laughs> That's my favorite. I'm gonna take that can of soup or water bottle, side of the bed, and I'm gonna put my arm like this, my elbow straight out, lie relax, and now I'm gonna let my hand with the water bottle facing down, down to me, let it come up and face up toward the sky, okay? Some people with a shoulder problem, they can go maybe to here and it hurts. And sometimes they'll even have to start here then come out slowly this way. I want them to see is over time, can they get back here where it comes down, feels comfortable, they can come down even further than they can handle. Because our goal again is to unwind all these muscles here to make that looser, so we have to unwind getting that shoulder back this way. All right. Just to see it too, if I'm sitting up doing it, I want that shoulder, if I'm, if I'm lying down, the shoulder come back this way as much as I can to get that to come back that way. Make sense? If I have a shoulder problem though, I may have to start here inside, elbow next to my side, and then come out this way to start. That feels okay. Then I'm gonna come out here slowly and then out here over time. It depends on where someone is how tight something is, all right? Anyone wanna try this? Nothing yet? I'm, I'm gonna, I'll do, I'm gonna have other ones for you to try. This is gonna help loosen, if we get a shoulder back, this external rotation behind us allows us that shoulder to get stronger over time and looser at the same time too. Question? No. Just practicing, I know. <laughs> okay, next. The next one is going to be the corner door stretch. Oh, how this, many times do you need to do that, five times? I would hold it for a full minute just to hold. It's a, it's a hold stretch. So you want to do is hold that, you want to hold that, that water bottle, can of soup, 
backward as much as you can. Just hold it back while you're lying down. Let that ligaments want to stretch your shoulder. Think of your shoulder and your hip as one to unwind those, that piece of rope. Want to unwind it all the way through. All right? Next one, corner stretch. I'm going to use this corner over here. If you guys can see me. This one. This is going to be a, allow your shoulders now to go from being here together to more open. Again, if we're closed off here, we're hunching forward, shoulders closed in, for one to roll in, let's unwind everything back here. All right? What I'm going to do, take corner of a wall here. I'm going to do is put my hands, shoulder height, I'm going to put one foot forward. I'm going to lean into the wall, keeping my body up the whole time, head up the whole time, head up, just like that. I can't, you can't see your feet. Sure, sure. Let me get over. I'm gonna. No, no, I'm gonna we'll just see. Let me see. So here, I'm gonna put. It doesn't matter which foot it is. One foot forward, just for balance. Hands, shoulder height. Head up the whole time. Body up the whole time. Just lean in. So my shoulders here will open up all the way through. Get those pec minors anterior delta stretch. So my shoulders come back behind my body. You almost want to feel in a relaxed state that back here in the middle wants to pinch a little bit. And hold that pinch for about 10 seconds. So 10 seconds stretch, hold, and then relax. 10 seconds stretch, hold, and then relax. So which right. is better, the one on the floor? Oh. Oh. Yeah, the one on the floor will give you individual shoulder. Stretch. Okay. This one will even things out here. So your body yeah. burns. How to, what, what side's tighter? It yeah. burns to stay more even. Yeah, so you want to do both. A lot of my patients is I'll give them two or three to start and work them all. So you know what's going to help them over time build that routine going on. This works, all this work. Okay, next one. Broomstick stretch. You guys remember this one, correct? The broomstick? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, whatever works for you, lead pipe, whatever it is. Whatever, whatever crime story cane? you have. A cane? a cane works too, as long as it's wide enough. It's always wide enough. Okay. So you want to do now modification. Instead of going all the way back to start, it's hard oh, to do, right? Wow. Oh. I did it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> hard to do. Hard to do. You want to do modification, is you keep your elbows straight the whole time. At that point, body up, head up again too. Elbows straight, come back to where you feel uncomfortable. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold it there for five seconds. Five, come back. So I tell people five seconds, five times. Up, hold, five seconds. So over time, as you do it, then it'll get easier. It may take you a couple of weeks. I had a guy come in, younger guy, 42 years old, 42, had a shoulder problem. Took him two weeks to, to actually finally clear his shoulders to come all the way back. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. You yeah. never do that. Yeah, this can't. Until my dip, this can't my shoulder. Pull this location. Ugh. No. Oh, no. This time. I, because, you guys, it's my shoulder, right? Yeah. I do it every day. Oh. Every day. Every day. So it doesn't tighten up on me. How many times a week? Seven times a week. What days end with Y? Every day. Sunday. So even Sabbath, they do Sabbath too much as well. Come, come here, come here, try, come and try. Here. No, no, come here, come here. Oh. Oh, I, you have to volunteer eventually. You can't always sit in the back of the room. I get points or something. I don't know what I do. What do you want me to do? Come over here. I'm going to show you. Actually, do you have a broomstick at home? Do I have what? A broomstick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, broomstick. We use a broomstick at home. Simple, simple things. I just fell, not, what, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So I, you can do that sitting down if you need yeah, to. Yeah, if you need to, if you need to. Let's try it standing first. Let's go put this over here. Here you go. I'll watch you, okay? I put my hand on your back right here. I'll head up. Smile, put the camera. <laughs> and scoot over more, scoot over more. Scoot, scoot, scoot over this way. Do what? Scoot this way, slide over, slide over. Right there, and now, go straight up. I can see which one's tight. Is that uncomfortable? No. Can go back further. Is that uncomfortable? It's starting a little bit. Good. 
So here's where you want to start. One, two, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, seven, five, six, okay, come on in. Okay. One more time. Just work uncomfortable, boom. Where do you want to go? Oh, and doing okay. this for you twice because the shoulder is frozen, mm -hmm. twice a day. Five times, five second hold. Okay. This works, all this work. Oh, good. All right. I'll try it. What's your name again? Maybe sitting Ruth, down, or she's gonna fall. Maybe she should. So here, try this and see. You what now? Try, yeah, try doing sitting, Jim. Just try, try, try. We'll try. Let's see. Yeah, the reason I, I never rock well with a cane, but now I have a cane because I fell. You want to make sure. Want to be safe. Try with sitting down now. Try what? Try to try, go as wide as you can. Wide as you can. Wide, 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 wide. Oh yes, okay. Now, I can feel it, but it's okay. And then go back as far as you can. So I've done the modification. You can do it sitting down. Yeah, about right there. Perfect. Instead of sitting standing up, that's safer for you. Be more balanced. Because yeah. you're unbalanced, you're going to feel like, okay, I'm worried about this, not about this. One more time. All right. Smile with the camera, smile. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Good. Five times, five seconds. Okay, yes, All right. I have a wrinkle, Bone yeah. sticking out here. Yeah, it's right over there. I can see that <laughs> one. That's okay. It just worked. And with your cane, quick question for you. If I brought this cane higher, would that be okay? Yes, it's anything, but yeah. I don't like it, but I have to Right work. now, right now. So now when you're using the cane, stay up here. No, not down that's here. much better. Let's try that and see. Look at that. Up, 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 up. There we go. There you go. Oh. Take a step. And walk with it walk with it up there, not down here. Oh, that's yes. better. Yeah. I, but you know what? I, I have these uh, shoes on now mm -hmm. that they have a uh, arch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Arch good. In, and I can feel the difference because I have another cane and uh, it, it, I, I just found this out yesterday. Uh, when I had this shorter cane, it's a little shorter yes. here. This was hurting. Mm -hmm. Then when I went to, di to this, it didn't hurt mm -hmm. because I had this back up, I think. And plus you were more on your, on your middle of your hip, not the front of your hip. Okay. Be taller, be taller. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> Thank good. you. Good, you're welcome. Yay. Good, group. good. Group. Okay. Now, pre-shoulder exercises, as a long one. I may take an intermission or something, I'm not sure. Like popcorn. Yeah. So now, how do we get our shoulders stronger? Okay. How do we get this back here stronger, this stronger, because it all connects, right? And also back here, the rhomboid stronger too. So we start doing this more, not uh here. Okay. I always go uh when I have that posture. I was going to ask you a question. Yes. I was told that my arms that were sore mm -hmm. used to be on. Yeah. Uh, and then when I took the, I always, my, all my clothes were clear down here. Ah. So she finally made me, so you have short arms. Everyone's, everyone's going to be off by about half, maybe half an inch, sometimes a full inch. Everybody's different. We're all, not all born the same, but we're all, we're all perfect, right? Uh, we're all perfect. Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> right. Thing, but the problem is when we're off too much, we got to go, is my shoulder too tight on one side making my arm longer? You know what I mean? Okay. Am I, am I, is, my, is my body balanced or is my body <coughs> posture causing a, sh a longer arm? Because of your shoulder issue, it would actually make your shoulder most likely a little uh. longer on that right side. If someone has a rolled shoulder going forward, Right around that, about longer, so it would be a little bit longer. Okay. Everyone's different though. Uh, sometimes I'll measure people's hips on an x ray, shoulder, shoulder a level on the x ray too, to see if that might be causing the issue. And then adjust the ligaments and muscles, even joints if need be, to make them even more even. All right? So, three shoulder exercise here. Take two water bottles. Not Kansas City, this is water bottles, not Kansas City, just water bottle this time, okay? Mm -hmm. Pay attention, pay attention. Here, number one. Elbows tucked into your side. Now bring those water bottles, keep your elbows in, straight out. 
Ugh, painful. <laughs> Time. Elbows tucked in. Elbows keep them blocking the water will touch the wall on both sides of your bate. All right, five times. Okay. Second one, after you've done this one five times, elbows tucked in, hands, the water bottles, thumbs pointing up, that one comes straight out, hold for a second, and come back in. Number one, to go with this one, hit the shoulder blades back here to also pinch. If I'm pinching here, make these muscles, the poster delt muscle again on both sides, work, activate, stronger, hold my body back here, instead of being, ugh. All right, number one, number dos, that means two. Okay, elbow, shoulder height, thumbs pointing toward each other, toward you. At that point, water bottles parallel to the ground, and then once they against the wall, head up, and bring those water bottles up toward the wall above you. Hold for a second. Now bring that water bottle flat again, horizontal, and up again, hold for a second. Uh, takes time, effort, work, people. Work. That's more than a second. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot, yeah, yeah, get distracted, get distracted. One more time, uh, hold, uh, and then back down. Woo, take a break, take a break. Water break, water break. Because yeah. what, what is water bottle? What's the weight of a water bottle? Maybe, maybe a pound times gravity. Will it be the ounces it has? It can be any any brand. No, no. If it says 20 fluid ounces, will that be the weight? Yeah, that'd be the weight. If this is going to be, this is 16.9 fluid ounces. So whatever, whatever you want to do, make sure they even though. So make sure they even. That's number two. Uh, number three. Whew, you guys ready? Instead of being flat on the wall, now we're going to do feet off the wall. Legs, a little bit bent the knees. Stand flat first. Now, tilt at your hips, leaning forward. Okay? Water bottles go straight out. Thumbs pointing straight out away from you. Arms relaxed. Okay? We're going to make sure, this time the goal is to make sure back here, you pinch back here, top of your top of your uh, shoulder, back of your neck. What I'm going to do, as I'm standing there, feet off the wall, legs bent, body tilted forward, back straight the whole time, water ball's pointing forward. I'm going to come straight up to my side, reverse fly, hold as my head stays up at the same time, nothing moves but my hands, and then come back down. So again, I'm going to come up. My water ball should be at, at the level of my head, next to my head. Up, pull, and then back. Okay, and what I'm doing with this one again, getting back here to pinch. So up, pull, and then back. Whew, any questions? No, oh, very fun, very fun. Yes, it's fun. It's just, yeah. but also it lets people know, wow, this side, I'm, I'm okay, my shoulders feel also like, I have, I have no range of motion, I'm only here. I can't go all the way back. If I have less range of motion in my shoulder and try to do weights, for example, I'm going to tear my shoulder like I did. So you have to make sure your body's loose overall to prevent injury. That's the plan. Okay? Next one. So, any question about the three shoulder? So, just to review, since so, I forgot, body against the wall, number one exercise, elbows tucked in. That point, water balls come straight out, touch the wall. And then relax. Five of those. Number two, wide against the wall, head against the wall. Elbows parallel to the to your shoulders, pointing out, leaning out a little bit. Water balls pointing toward you. Come straight up. Water balls touch the wall above your head. Hold for a second, then come back down. Boom. This work. Last one. Feet off the wall, legs a little bit bent. Tilt at the hips, coming forward. Point water balls away from you along with your thumbs. Head stays up the whole time. As you bring the water bottles up, pinch the back of your neck, hold for a second, and come back down. Just work, it's always work. All right, well, let's try the last one. You want to try the last one, anybody? Well, I'll try it. Yeah. Just the last, last one's a little bit more like, so it's finesse. So it can be reinforced yes. in the brain. That's why you my patients, if they don't want them to try it, they're not gonna know what's wrong. Here you go, okay. man. So we'll take them home. 
All right, what do you want? I want to do. I want you to do oh, you feet off the do. wall. Okay, feet off the wall. Tilt at the hips. Now, water bottles at your side, lift and drop. Head up. We're going to bring the water bottles out this way. And hold. Good, hold, hold, hold. Pinch, 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 pinch. Breathe. Come back down. We gotta breathe too, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not breathing. We're not gonna move. Oh, yeah, relax, 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 relax. You gotta relax, relax, relax. Good. This one. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Good, right? Perfect. Smile. All right. Good, smile, smile. Good, good. Now put your arms up. And here. There we go, up there. Hold. One, two, three. Come back down. There you go. Where do you feel that? I don't know. I feel it right here, too. <laughs> and then everywhere, everywhere, the whole I thing. I don't know if I felt it in the back. The I don't know. It's me and I. Pitch. And then come back down. Thank you again. Appreciate it. I'll give you an ice pack later for your back, okay? <laughs> Got it. Last one. This is my this is the one where you know, okay, I have strong shoulders now. My shoulders are strong, that means the injury is not gone, but it's almost gone. This is three positions of the, of the wall push-up here. First one to start is gonna be wide. Okay? You want to stand parallel with the wall, just parallel with the wall. Okay, not only lean forward or backwards. Here. I'm gonna have you do is hand shoulder height again, and just let your body lean into the wall, just like that. Okay, once you do that, then gonna push off the wall with using these muscles right here. These muscles are your anterior belt, and also when you're coming back here too, here, you can also use your posterior belt too to push off the wall. Once your, we will realize this, once your elbow goes behind your shoulder, using these muscles back here to get to that original position. So you want to make sure if you're going to do a, if you do a posterior delt workout back here, you want the shoulder, the elbow to go behind the shoulder, hold, and then push off that way. So you want to do the number one, the uh, wall push modification. Here, elbows beyond the shoulders, wide in the shoulders. That one, hands also. Come in, hold for a second, and then push off. Okay, number one. Like five times. Simple, five times. Second one, elbows tucked in. Okay, we do now is elbows tucked in, about shoulder, have more, more right next to your pillow, outside of your body, and then come in, hold, then push off. Okay, I want to make sure everything down here is working too. Yes? <laughs> Good, so go slow, go slow. If you need to put a seat behind you, back here, to make sure you're not gonna, so here, I would do, so make sure you have good balance, put one behind you right here, here, come in, hold for a second, come off slowly until you touch the chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking in my head, I'm creative. I'm an artist somehow, I don't know what's going on, okay. Now, number, that's number two, right? Here, elbows tucked in, come in, hold, and push all the way up. Number three modification. We want to now work the individual muscle of each shoulder. Okay, so what we're going to do, left hand behind your body, right hand on the wall, about shoulder height, here, right, point my shoulder right across here. Do now is come in, hold, and push off just with that hand, but don't let don't your body turn your body steady the whole time and come back the same amount. Wow. It works. I fall down. It, it's, it's taking your time to do it though. So you, for yours, because of balance, I would just do number one, number two, then number three. Okay? So again, elbow behind you, arm behind you, body steady, body parallel to the wall. At that point, hand, shoulder height. Lean in. Hold for a second. Come back. Keep your body feeling the whole time, slow, 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 and push yourself all the way straight, okay? That may feel, that might feel okay. Second part, what I'm gonna do now, the other one too, does this feel the same? Left hand, shoulder height, that point where your body be feeling the wall, come in, hold for a second, push up, keep your body feeling the whole time, do not let it turn, all right? Who wants to try this one? Is this for the back? This is for actually the shoulder, the back here, and the back Even here. The all of it. Yeah. All yeah. of it. The, the push-up is a great position for your whole upper body. So doing this back to once you get 
Once you once you graduated from the stretch exercises, the broomstick, the one on the floor, arms coming back for one, two, the other one, see even the three shoulder one, two. This is getting it all working together. That point, still here, our body can actually start working together, keep it strong and balanced versus being torqued or dropped for one, two. Just worked all it is. So again, last one here. Hand behind your body, one arm up, shoulder height, come in, hold, come back, keep your body straight the whole time. So it's working these muscles back here, even your core muscles and your lower back too, keep your body straight versus being turned. All right, it's work. But practice, use it sure if need be, so you don't lose your balance. And no injuries here, okay, I have no liability insurance. All right, I already have a license, I got that canceled out one too expensive. All right, any questions? Again, this video will be on YouTube later today, maybe tomorrow morning, to give you a way to kind of reset your shoulders, and get you set for yours, for example, example two, the number one thing, just lie on the edge of the bed, water bottle, let that shoulder come back. So many. It is a lot. It is a lot. Different ones. Mm -hmm. So okay. once someone gets to where things feel good, folks are just stretching. And maybe I may be stretching once a day where you get your body with that broomstick, that's what I do. Once a day, morning, head all the way through, just like this. All the way back, and all the way forward. Kind of fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that one's easy. Well, once you get there, once you get yeah. there. Okay. But it's every day. If you do them every day, your body will improve. Yeah. You know, we have to keep working every day. Just work. You have to remember. Well, that's why you have the list to remember. <laughs> Four on YouTube, videos. On YouTube, how do you look your. Uh, At the very bottom there, it says my office page on YouTube. You can chiropractic. And this playlist will be the actual workshop playlist. You too. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Search. You could. Okay. And then we'll right. go right to my playlist called Great. Workshop. It'll be there by tomorrow morning. All right. Today I have no idea what's going on this afternoon. Got a date. Good. Leave a little thumbs up maybe. I don't know. Okay. Whatever you want to do. All right. Questions? Sir, questions? I got a question. Okay. Okay. I'll stop the video and we'll talk about your lottery number question, whatever it might be. All right, guys, thank you for everything coming in today. Okay.